Hello, hello decorators. Welcome to Decor Lab. One of my top tips for balloon decorators is to use a good quality balloons. But what does it actually mean? Let's talk about it. So like I said, I recommend to use the best quality balloons you can. But why does that matter? Because they are easier to work with, they're less likely to pop, and I believe that at the end of the day, they will save you money. In just a little bit, I will share what brands I like to use, but in the meantime, share what is your favorite brand in the comments below. All right, what determines a good quality? There are a few objective things that will determine a good quality balloon. First, look at the thickness of the balloon. In my experience, our less expensive balloons are thinner than more expensive ones. That makes them pop easier, especially if you're working with them in the heat. If you want to see the example, you can check out the video where we reviewed an Amazon balloon kit. Second, you can also look at what brands have a lot of the manufacturing defects. By defects, I mean balloons stacked together, balloons having color spots, or balloons having holes in them. Also, certain brands may have the excess amount of latex on their balloons, which makes your balloons look very dusty. Something to keep in mind when you're working with the darker colors. Those two things, thickness and manufacturing quality, are, in my opinion, the most objective things you should look for when you're searching for the balloon brand. But there are a few other things that I think about when I am forming my own opinion about balloons. The first one is the feel of the latex. This is something you just have to feel for yourself. When some balloons are much softer than the others, it makes the big difference when you have a large amount of balloons to inflate and it will go so much easier on your fingers when you're working with a softer balloon. Also, the tougher balloons are much harder to tie. Let's take a look at the example. So this balloon is a thicker balloon and it's harder to work with. Even when you're tying them, it doesn't have as much of the stretching capacity. Obviously, this is the 11 inch balloon. It is not inflated to the full capacity and it's already hard. So you already know that it will be a lot harder to work with this when you're creating your uh, balloon garland. On the other hand, this is a soft balloon. So it has a lot of the stretching capacity when you work with it. So again, 11 inch balloon, so you can do anything you want with that. And it stretches so easily and it has a long neck. So it's very easy to work with and it's so much easier on your fingers. Keep in mind that thickness has nothing to do with the softness of it. As you can see, this balloon is nice and thick, yet it's still very nice and stretchy and soft. So it doesn't mean that one thing excludes the other. The next thing is, availability, the colors and sizes. For me, as a balloon designer, it's very important to have a variety of different colors to offer to my client. In today's world, the mostly requested colors are fashion forward and something that nobody else had before. That means more likely I will be buying the balloons that are not going to be in a regular color like red or blue. Most likely I will be buying colors like coral or blue slate. The same thing goes for the size. Not every brand has all of the colors in all of the sizes. So if they don't make the size that I need, I'm most likely not going to purchase it. And we all know you want to use the variety of sizes to create your dimensional balloon creations, right? Another thing to consider is something that kind of goes along with colors. Some balloons will have a dark spot at the tip of the balloon, also called a nipple in a lot of places. It doesn't mean that the balloon is defected, it is just the manufacturing and how the balloons are created. They collect the most of the pigment at the tip of the balloon. So here's an example of the balloon. So basically you can see the solid color over here, but when you turn it and see all like the tip of the balloon, you have the very significant pigment um, at the tip of it. So when you are creating your garland, basically the tips is what pointed towards the customer and they will see all of those darker spots. And it's not always the best appearance of the garland, but you can avoid it by double stuffing your balloons, which also requires some extra labor. So keep that in mind. Different manufacturers obviously using a different pigment. So that means that you're more likely to see the tips or the nipples on some of the brands versus the other. So I would also look for that. Finally, all the quality in the world doesn't matter if you cannot get those particular balloons in your area. Some of my favorite quality balloons are Tuftex, Sempertex, and Qualitex, but I am very sure that there are a lot of different great brands out there available on the market. To find balloons available in your area, just go to the desired manufacturer's website and find a distributor in your area. We actually made a video about it and I will put the link right here. If you just need balloons for a quick balloon setup for your party, 
don't stress about it, just have fun. But if you are serious about their decorating work and improving your business, I think you should really look into a good quality balloon. They will make your balloon creations a lot more professional and at the end of the day, you will save money because of less popping and less defective balloons. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section and I will see you next video.